Hello, everyone. Welcome back. This is Tadamus Prime back with another review. This is a semi transformer review. Today, I'm being joined with a special guest, Joel from Larkin's Lair. Hey, everybody. Uh, <laughs> how you doing today, Joel? I am doing good, and I'm glad I finally finished this kit that I've had for such a long time. <laughs> and it was really finally fun done. putting it together. I enjoyed it. It, it, it was a very fun build, and, you, you know, um, it's a way better than the first Prime that they did, in my opinion. I, I, I like it a lot. Yeah, I agree. This was my first foray into doing a model kit uh, that is Transformers related or even robot related. I've only ever done, like, the kit car from Knight Rider, and uh, I did some Jets and 57 Chevys, all that shit, you know, the norm kid mm -hmm. stuff so this was my first step into doing a gundam style i guess gundam with articulation. yeah you know I, i've been doing gundam models for so, so many years now and i was really glad that um somebody's making transformer kits um but um from a person who's done gundam before i mean i would say that if you have done gundam kits is kind of like a high grade in terms of difficulty so it's it's really um if you're new to model kit building it's it's a good place to start they didn't make it overly complicated but it does have a lot of complexities in there when you build it yeah i agree with you. uh being a first timer there were only a couple instances where i found the instructions a little bit difficult to understand uh for example the wrist right here uh when i first put it together it didn't have the articulation mm -hmm. that i thought it should have so i plugged the uh the red piece in first then i plugged in the the gray piece that actually holds the hand and yeah. then i had full articulation that way yeah that but was a that, little weird it was a little weird because uh, i i actually had trouble on that exact same part as well and then i'm like yeah okay but other than that i mean it was a fairly simple build and um but not so simple that it wasn't satisfying exactly i it challenged me just enough that it wasn't frustrating i did glue the shit out of it i'm not gonna lie i glued way more than they suggested <laughs> oh yeah i i still gotta go back and glue like prime's ears and um yeah over here prime's ears and the, the top piece over there it, it just pops out, and this part here pops out a lot. Uh, really? Just by, I haven't had that problem yet. I, I think I over-cleaned mines. Like, um, you know, like when you when you get the, the X-Acto blade to take the excess, Clean the screws. I may have overdid yeah. it, and it's a little loose because of that. So that's, and same thing with this thing, the, the wing. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I didn't, I made sure not to clean those real well, because I did... I do have to admit, I did check out some reviews before this even made it to me. I should have so done that. On, <laughs> so I picked up on some pointers where people were bitching that the wings popped off every time you did it. And I'm like, well, if they were tighter, then they would hold better. And mine are perfect. I haven't haven't had them pop and, off once. You, you know what? I should have done that. I did not look at any of the reviews. I just started working on it. And I'm like, oh, okay. But um, I well, mean, you, you've got a history with doing models. So I would expect you to... <laughs> you know be like hey i can do this no problem me i had never done this kind of a model before so i kind of wanted a little heads up i'm not gonna lie <laughs> i mean one thing i really like about this um i mean just because it, it looks really nice but i love that if you look at the, you know when they do the legs i like that little i mean how that thing moves up just little details like that you know they didn't have to do that but it, that little what was that gimmick that they had? But it was for the movie toys. Um, oh, long the uh, mech, mech tech or something mech like tech. that? Was yeah, it? something like that. I mean, I thought you know, it's a nice touch. Nice touch to that. Yeah, because the legs, the wheels actually retract into the to the back of the leg when you close it. Yes. It. I did mine wrong. Like as, as you can see, I did mine wrong. But I am too afraid to take it apart because i'm gonna bust it <laughs> yeah I, i'll try and show mine off because i i got 
got mine working. Uh, I do have to be careful, and I do want to point this out because I did mess up once. Whenever you're trying to pose him, if, mm -hmm. if you do tear it apart and fix it, you got to be careful not to push on it because it pops it off, and then you got to fight on your hands to try and fish it out of the mm -hmm. leg to get back on. <laughs> I might I'm, I might go back and fix it because I do plan, like, I still haven't glued everything, so I do plan to glue, like, the parts that, like, this part for me pops off all the time. Yeah, I glued that. I, well, did so. the ear. I did the head. Yeah. I, I glued damn near everything that wasn't articulated. <laughs> That's a good idea. I mean, I know they, they're supposed to make these things, like, you know, snap fit, but, you know, it, it's... It's still a model kit, and if you want it to last, I think gluing them down would probably would be the best for it. Yeah. I'll see if I can show this off. It's really hard because I'm wearing the wrong shirt, of course. But when you bend it, it retracts. Yeah. And when you straighten it out, it comes back out. That It's very reminiscent of the Siege Starscream. With yes. With the panel the back of his thighs, too. Yes. For his legs. His Siege Starscream is very, very cool. The only thing I don't like about this kit, really, the stickers. And I and it's a it's a common thing with the rest of the kits that well there's no instructions for the stickers for the other kits. I didn't find any or unless I there wasn't any look. But I had a hard time finding the placement for them. And of course you do need uh where is it? These Yes. I, I wouldn't be able to put them on if, if I didn't get have those and stuff. But yeah, it's it's a it. Yeah, I got mine sitting right next to me. I had to use those myself. So there was no you, other way. The stickers are so tiny, and then they had them recessed. And if anybody decides that they they get this, and I highly suggest you do, by the way. But I was putting the stickers on as I went along putting the model together. I I looked and seen where the stickers went, and as I was applying putting it together, it's easier to apply the stickers when you're not fighting to get behind other pieces or in the way of other pieces no just a little pointer that I that that is something. a great tip i i gotta t i gotta be honest man even though i've been building kits longer than you you have more better tips and i think there's there's an aspect of uh i don't i wouldn't want to say cockiness or like when you've done something for so long and you dive into it but just like anything in that life you should really not think everything is going to be the same like kind of like go in it fresh otherwise you get caught off guard and you know like certain areas in here i i just put it together I'm like oh man i should have done this i should have done that but I, I would say honestly because you came in building the kit fresh i think you did a better job <laughs> at it i wouldn't say better <laughs> i did it different i got it cool you got it correct i got it wrong <laughs> <laughs> there is no right and wrong and that's what i like about these kits you can you can really make it your own like i have more stickers on mine than you do i cussed a lot more than you did i'm sure because I, <laughs> I i told you when i got it done i messaged you i'm like dan i'm warning you now the stickers are a motherfucker they are a bitch. <laughs> and i wasn't lying they are horrible they are i think They're the bad. other one I think this one was a bit worse, though, to be honest. There's a lot that more. smaller. Um, I could see that being a real pain. And he's very, he's very fiddly compared to, like, th this guy is more solid than this guy. And you can see, I guess you can see on camera, there's a, there is a height difference. He's taller, but um, I would still prefer the, him. Um, now, speaking of height, though. This is one thing I really don't like, though. Starscream is taller. Slightly. Very... Uh, actually, well, I guess the wings make them look taller. It's just... I, I wear, they're, they're too close to being the same size for my liking. and stuff, yeah. Especially since Prime is supposed to be bigger and bulkier than Starscream. But um, other than that, I mean, they're, they're model kits. So it's really for display, for, at least for me. Yeah, and the thing that I like is coming from the miniature background and doing D&D &D and all that, I, I, I display my Transformers like I did my miniatures and dioramas. And I like the fact that with this, it's not a static pose. You can change it up. I mean, it's not something I'm going to play with, like a Transformer. I'm not going to sit there and just fuck with it. 
like mm-hmm. I do with Transformer. I'll just grab a Transformer when I'm watching a show or something when I'm bored and just transform it. But this, you can change it up, you know. And the Megs, I, I definitely want to get that. You've done Chuck Me Down the Rabbit Hole. I'm hooked on these now. <laughs> and with the Megs, the, I, I hope the you know, even though Prime doesn't match well in the scale for Starscream for me, I hope Megs does at least. That's the one thing I hope. I, I got to remember it's split screen, so something I'm showing on camera might not be showing up. No, you're fine. You're dead. <laughs> okay. You're right on, man. You're good. I just, I, I just realized that. Like, if I go too far off, like, hey, I see it on my camera, probably not being shown right now. <laughs> <laughs> No, nah, you're doing fine, brother. You're keeping it right where it needs to be. Okay. But uh, yeah, it was very enjoyable. I I thank you very much. I when you told me that you had something you wanted to send me, I was like, oh, I wonder what that is, you know. And then you told me this, and I was like, wow, this is the one that I was wanting, anyways. I was like, so thank you very much for chucking me down the rabbit hole. Shame on you for doing it at the no. same time because you got no me hooked, worries. man. This is awesome. No worries, <laughs> man. I you know, I, I told you it was a mistake on the order. But, the, you know, they won't take it back because, it, you know, it, it's not worth their money to send me a, a label, take it back. You know, it's, basically they said it was our mistake and that's it. Right. And when Ooh. I saw it. Yeah. And then I'm like, you know, I was thinking I don't need two, But, you know, knowing your background with miniatures, I'm like, I, I know I know someone who would appreciate putting a kit together because, I mean, I, did you do like Warhammer back in the day? Yeah, did you ever? I did oh, Warhammer my... 40k. Oh, that's yeah. where I got a lot of my my D and D minis from the orcs and the, orcs, the goblins yeah. and. Yeah, so I, yeah, it, I used to do that too, and you know, remember the big kits. And surprisingly enough, uh, Transformers is actually a cheaper hobby than 40k. <laughs> <laughs> you are not joking. That was a hobby that I swore I'd never get myself back into because I can't afford Transformers, let alone going back to that. And all the money I had in paints and inks and washes and Well, the kits, brushes too. And, I mean, like a kit like this for 40 k would probably set you back 60 bucks or more. It's lucky, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, yeah. And, I mean, size of boy. But, you know, it, it made me think about those days, and I'm like, you know, I – I thought you'd appreciate the the kid uh, having that kind of background and stuff. Oh, I did. I loved it, man. It it took me back ten plus years ago when I was in the heat of doing all this, and just it was something I did to relax. It was before I got into actually collecting Transformers as an adult. I I, I transitioned from that into Transformers, ironically, and oh, nice. uh, yeah. So this this took me back, man. I really had a great time with it. Uh, so what, what's your favorite part about this guy? Um, well, <laughs> or what, one, what are some of the positives that you like about him? Number one is he doesn't look like this. <laughs> 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 That's my, that is my absolute favorite part of this guy. Um, the other favorite part, uh, you, you know, it is the IDW version. It looks more G1. He is bulky, hefty, m- reminds me more of Prime. I like the articulation on him, you know, uh, it comes with all the extra hands and it, it's just an all around nice figure. Um, the only thing I really don't like is, I, I, I don't know, I, I'm not used to Prime having wings, so it, it just seems a little misplaced or out of place. I mean, I did kind of bust mines over here, so maybe I might take it off and just uh, snip the little pegs and just leave it flat. I don't know. Yeah, that that confused me too. We were discussing this earlier about the wings, and I I this is my first experience with the IDW Prime. I had never seen it before until oh, my camera was moving. Uh, I had never seen this before until I seen your review and you were talking about this Prime and and everything, and I was like, wow, that's really cool. It's it's different enough, but it's not too different like the first Prime that you did. That's just too stylized for me. Yeah. This is a lot closer to G1. He's got the bulk, the size. But he's also lean enough that he's he looks different. Yep. Definitely. But he's definitely. still bulky in all the right places, too. So what's your favorite part about him? My favorite part, as far as... It, it's really hard for me to look at this and call it a model, because 
Yeah, it doesn't transform, but the articulation blows me away. I mean, down to the freaking toes. I mean, you yeah. have some killer articulation from everything. I mean... It's like an there, action it, figure that you build yourself, right? Yeah, and then some on steroids, like even the wrist. I mean, it's got crazy articulation. I mean, swivel all the way around. And it, I, I like the fact that it comes with uh, so many extra hands. So that's, yeah. that's a nice thing. Yeah. So. You got the, uh, I don't know how well it's going to show up on mine because they're so tiny. Kind of, yeah, it's really tiny. There's so. enough up there for me to even hold on to. <laughs> but the you got the Then you have the one for the gun. Yeah, it's not showing up on mine. But it's it's got his hand like this. Yeah, it it's it's a trigger finger. I can get that here. Yeah, and it looks really good in his hand too, like on the gun. I don't know how well that's going to show, but yeah, you can yeah. see the the four, four finger right there sticking out, index finger. It matches very well. I like it, and and you know yeah. it gives you all these posing options with it. Yeah, the only thing that I wish that it would have came with that it didn't was a stand. I yeah. mean, it might be obvious to other people. I, I, I've I never seen one anywhere because I haven't went and bought any models or Gundam or anything mm -hmm. like that. I don't have any Transformers, you know, that can't, like, tracks came with a stand and everything, but... Well, I, if this shows up, it does yeah, have a little hole for a stand. Right which, in this butt hole. <laughs> yeah, the little butt hole for uh, the Prime's exhaust pipe uh, for, uh, for, for one of those... And it, I, I haven't checked, but it looks like around the same size as a Gundam stand. So maybe maybe they're not producing it so that because they know somebody else makes so many of them already. I don't know. Right. But it would have been nice if they included it. But it's yeah. not something that's ab absolutely necessary for this thing. Yeah. Ah. See, I, I just lost the wing. No. <laughs> Kato's sending. I got to. He's doing his live stream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who's, who's live streaming now? Oh, okay. Kato. <laughs> How you doing, Kato? Glad to see you interrupt <laughs> the video, but that's all right. We'll allow it. <laughs> A little shameless plug there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, cool, the cool. is amazing. Uh, the color's good. The detail. This is one of your tricks where panel lining would do this figure a lot of good because... The gray is very flat. It's mm -hmm. hard to really pick out the detail, like the ribs and the legs. Um, yeah. Just, there's just, it looks, it's clean. It's very clean. It's almost too clean. But it looks really good. The colors are very vibrant. Um, they, they're they reminiscent of Prime. I mean, they, you look at it and he's like, yeah, that's Prime colors right there. And, it's coming, you know, coming off really vibrant on my camera, but. I also like, I mean, while it does come with these stickers, which is cool, um, I, I do like that if I really wanted to, I could take the stickers off and then paint it myself if I wanted to. Or if, you know, I'm not comfortable painting, I just want something built quick, you know, just use the stickers. So I, I like I like kits where there's options. You have these options to do more. I, I just wish that the sticker sheet had only Autobot symbols. So if I chose to panel line and paint i could just put the autobot sticker if i wanted to use this autobot sticker i'd have to get a exacto and you know carve it out to use it but that, uh, that's a minor thing but yeah it would have been nice if they added just the faction logo logos for the the arms but then again you know what i don't really care for the faction logo logos on the arm you know for me prime always had it up here right yeah so, i agree i i now, are you familiar with the uh, the IDW comic version that this is based on, or is this uh, your first really introduction it is, to the uh, IDW it comic? It is my. I, I've picked up a little bit. I I don't remember. I got to be honest. Like, the even uh, the 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 IDW series before what it is now, it never really grabbed me. So I would pick up a comic here and there. A lot of um, in the past years, I would see like, oh hey, another uh, storyline starting. Let me try again. And I'm like, ah, uh, and I drop it. And I'm like, oh, another one looks kind of interesting. Let me try again. Like, oh, Combiner Wars. Let me try. And then for some reason, IDW has never really 
captured my attention in the comic world. I don't know. It's just me, maybe. <laughs> I mean, everybody has their own expectations and, and things that they want out of a comic. And for some people, Marvel fits that bill. Others, IDW. And, you know, I mean, it's... I, yeah. I haven't really dealt much with IDW. It's mostly Marvel and... Uh, uh, what's the UK? Uh, uh, Dreamwave? Dreamwave. Yeah. Dreamwave. Yeah, was it? I really yeah. like the animation and the storylines yeah. of Dreamwave. That was cool. That was cool. I remember those way back. It's just, unfortunately, they, I think they just couldn't handle the business side. So, you know, it's just that you have that fine balance of creative and business. And if one is too much, the other suffers and back and forth, yeah. right? You got, and that, I think that's a hard part when you have creative people start new ventures that they got to get both uh, balanced in order to stay afloat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, this this I I really enjoyed it. The only problem I have is my gun. The back didn't want to stay together, and I preemptively started to glue it and didn't realize that it didn't stay together, so I couldn't separate. Oh, it to get separate them again. Yeah, there's just a little nothing you'd notice if I didn't point it out. But other than that, the eyes. I wish they had a different eye because he's dead. It, it looks like he's a dead prime. I can't yeah. see my eyes. Yeah, that's true. And that's the other gripe I had with the other one. The eyes were too small for that. Well, it, it and I think it's mainly because of its two pieces kind of thing. But then again, Hasbro is able to do the eyes with light piping really well. So I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I think they could have done light piping on this, and that would have been amazing. That would have been, but... that would have been awesome for light piping. I think that was my complaint of the first one too, no light piping because they do have the the clear eyes as well. Yeah, but yeah, this this was an awesome kit. I highly suggest anybody, you know, if you come across it, definitely pick it up. It, it's it's worth the money. I I could definitely see myself spending that much on Megs, without a doubt. Same. The Bumblebee yeah. looks really cool too. I I like the Bumblebee too. It looks good. Yeah, I, I, I'm I curious on the scale, though, because it is the same price point. It is, looks a bit big. Yeah. <laughs> so, From what I've seen. Yeah, and that, yeah, that's the thing. I, 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 would, I was hoping that with a model kit line that scale would translate well with all the kits, but might, I guess it might not. Maybe they're just looking at more from the, the model side, like you're going to display it kind of thing, I guess, which is okay. Yeah, I can forgive that more because it is a model. Yeah. It, it's the scale. Scale never really mattered to me a whole lot. Although I do have to admit that uh, I'm really starting to get into the Legends class, which I never thought I would. But I picked up a pop. Of, I got a pop of toys from Graham. Uh, nice. Playmore, and that thing is amazing. The transformation on it is n by no means Legend class. You know, it's 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 got some complexity into it, and uh, but yeah, now I'm getting sidetracked. I I do that. I wander. <laughs> oh, no. I, yeah, this, yeah, this guy here. I don't really have any major complaints other than the stickers could have been labeled better. Um, the light piping would have been a plus. The directions were pretty. You know, me being a first timer, I didn't really struggle. I I did take my time putting it together, so it did take me about four hours. Oh, that's, that's, I'd that's work probably. on it and stop and then work on it. Yeah, no, that's pretty good. Because, I mean, well, honestly, I, I think I rushed a bit. and But yeah, I really... Did. I'm not going to lie, because I got a hold of you and said I was done. You were like, I haven't even started on it yet. And then you got back <laughs> with me like today, and I'm like, oh, shit, you're done already? <laughs> yeah, you were humping it out, man. <laughs> well, you know, it's been sitting for so long. And I'm like, you know, I got to put it together. What's the point of getting this only to have it sit, right? I mean, that's like buying a transformer and leaving it in the box and not taking it out or doing anything with it until, until later. So I'm like, you know, I got to get off my butt, get it together. And, you know, honestly, if I haven't, if you haven't, what you call, told, said we, we, we want to do this, I might I might have not put it together for another month or so. So I'm actually glad we, we're doing this because it's finally done. And um, it, it I'm glad I, I got it finished. I like the kid a lot. 
Yeah, and I really appreciate you uh, accepting my offer and doing the joint review with me. I I just I thought it would be fitting, and I really think I would like to see more people doing these joint reviews like we did back in the day ten years ago. I haven't seen anybody doing them like this anymore. Oh no, that's cool. I mean, uh, and you know what's cool about this? I mean, it, it you know we're so used to doing the whole camera front thing, but I, I think it's nice to just talk about it and bounce ideas and just you know it, it may not be the the, the standard what reviews that we see but it's just like hey let's let's sit down and talk about this one thing and you know just let everybody know what we think about it yeah yeah totally agree man totally agree and that's what it's all about just enjoying our hobbies that we do and sharing them like you know i would have never got this or done this if it wasn't for you hooking me up with it and introducing me to it and now i'm glad that he did because this is an amazing line at least judging by this one figure but the rest of them you know like starscream looks good and meg's looks amazing and it's just yeah, I, yeah this I is, got this really is a huge pass <laughs> that one yeah, I, I i definitely could pass on that one i, I won't be looking for that one <laughs> now the uh the nemesis of that doesn't look as bad as what that prime does I, I guess so, because it's... Uh, I guess everything not looks better in good. black. This would look better. <laughs> yeah. This would look better. I think, yeah, if they did a Nemesis, I would probably hold off, because knowing that, as a business, this would be the easiest thing to repaint and sell again. And, um, I, you know, hopefully they, if they, they make it, then I would rather have this... Uh, this prime as nemesis prime than the other one to be honest yeah i agree this is by far the best prime that i've seen them put out yet yeah yeah so, and looking forward to the megatrons that's coming out so yes yeah i'll be looking for those uh like i told you the only barnes and nobles that i knew around then this is they do some in barnes and nobles by the way uh yeah i forgot to mention that or you can get them at big bad toy store i've seen them there also and I'm sure there's many other places, but those are two places that I know of right now mm-hmm. that you can definitely pick these up for 35 bucks U.S. Yeah. So, you yeah. got anything else you'd like to comment or? That, that's about it. I, I just got to say, you know, this is very new. I mean, we're, we're, this is our first time doing this. Um, if we miss stuff, uh, please forgive us. I think a lot of it is just really us enjoying the figure and talking story about it. So hopefully um, whoever's watching this enjoys that as well. But um, I think that's pretty much it. And I, I don't have much to add. I'm, I'm, but like I said, I'm just glad we got to do this. And I'm glad that I finally got it done. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I have to admit I kind of rushed my way through it too because once I started it, I just wanted to see it done. Because the way that all the internal articulation parts went together really intrigued me on a engineering side i was like mm. oh, this is really freaking cool this is how you get that articulation and i was i was thoroughly impressed with the mechanics on this for being a model yeah blown away of course i'd never done anything like gundam either so this was like a total system shock overload for me going from you know the warhammer shit to this is like nine day <laughs> yeah the warhammer stuff is not even posable at all no i mean i mean you you i guess you could but you want to glue it because it won't it'll fall apart they're not really made yeah. to be moved around so but uh and from a gundam uh standpoint i think this is the is, is this a good balance of complexity and simplicity um any uh, gundam has a grade called real grade which is just way complex like yeah, like you really need a lot of patience, and for me, I don't have as much patience. I like building. I don't kids. anymore either. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it's a good balance because if it was any more complicated, I I might not be interested as much. You know, so I'm happy. Right. Yeah, cool. I, I agree. Uh, it was it was simple enough to be doable within a reasonable amount of time, but challenging enough that i didn't get bored doing it yeah definitely and that that was good it kept my interest because i was wanting to see how they did the curious to how they did the the auto morphing and the legs and 
how they got the butterflies on the chest and the shoulders. It just really was a really enjoyable experience putting it together. And I'm really thankful to have this as part of my collection and my display now. I'm glad you enjoy it, man. Definitely, man. Definitely. All right. Well, if you have nothing else to add, um, if like like Joel said, if if we missed any points that you guys would like to know about, just hit us up in in the uh, comments below. I'm sure Joel he answers just like I do all of our comments, or at least we try to answer every one that we get. He's never not answered me anyway. So <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Awesome. But uh, yeah, I really appreciate you you know doing this joint review with me joel it was Thank a pleasure you. and an honor and uh maybe we'll do this again sometime we'll yeah sounds good man maybe, Appreciate maybe we'll it. get something else and just do a, another collab this was really fun i had a good time yeah me too definitely man would love to do it again man all right now if you guys i'm gonna put a link at the end of this video to go to joel's channel uh check him out watch his videos he does a lot of the uh the uh, modifications like weathering and panel lining uh right now you just did uh you were doing some panel lining on overlord overlord, overlord is a project i really wanted to work on um but uh it's taking a lot longer than i expected <laughs> there's a lot of detail on that figure i i really enjoy it but there is a lot of panels on that <laughs> I, I in a video i told my i i, I told everybody i was also going to do Trypticon. I might have to take that that's, back. <laughs> that's quite a lot right there. <clears throat> so if, I, if, if that never happens, you know I'm like, okay, this is way too much. I'm not doing this. <laughs> <laughs> and then you've also just put up a little, your last video. Uh, you're working on restoration of a GoBot Psycho, right? Yeah, I, 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 it's a minor restoration. There's like some nicks and dings, and then the paint was chipped uh, and and scuffed up so i i re-sanded everything and then repainted it and uh reassembled it um it, it's a uh, I would i call it a minor restoration because um like all the chrome was really in great shape so it, it was it, it it's really just to make it look brand new again for me yeah and you're you're being a little kind there on yourself you actually tore it all apart joel that's yeah, I, not just a minor <laughs> detail there you actually showed how you tore that thing completely apart and you're doing it right and that's that's the good thing that i like about your channel and how you're you're showing people how to how to do this and like i said in my introduction to this the unboxing it's not really that difficult once you know the proper way of doing it it's yeah. just knowing how to do it right that's where you're going to save a lot of heartache you're not going to make the mistakes and you're showing people how to do that and that is amazing i love seeing Somebody out there, a fellow modder, that can do that and show people the proper way so that they don't get discouraged when they accidentally mess up their figure. Like you, you even had that one incident with your side swipe, your seat side swipe yeah. using the panel lining, and you showed, you know, a lot of people wouldn't have shown that. Well, I know, figured you like, learn more from like other people's mistakes, mistakes, right? <laughs> when I was younger, my uh, uh, my dad told me it's okay. It's okay to make mistakes. Just make new ones. So exactly. don't make the same mistakes. So if I share a mistake I made, try not to do it. And it'd be it's more valuable for me to share you the mistake so you know not to do that. You know, it's just like a sign. If I showed you a sign that says don't go here because there's a there's a, a killer dog or whatever, that's more useful <laughs> to show you what happened because when I went there <laughs> than to just let you figure it out on your own. <laughs> right right totally agree brother totally agree but yeah at the end of this video i'm going to put a link to his channel i'm going to put a link to one of his uh which video do you want on one of the model kits starscream starscream <laughs> i'm sorry yeah this it seems like i don't like this guy that much but now once you have this guy i'm actually not going to be displaying him anymore in the same <laughs> shelf so <laughs> I'm sorry, Prime. Um, you've been replaced. So, Starscream is and you just fell apart. Okay, Starscream. <laughs> you know he and knows now, that I, I don't. I didn't like him, so he just kind of fell apart right now. <laughs> and then I'll also put a link to another um, one of your videos of your choice at the end, so the people that haven't 
senior channel, which there aren't many of them on my channel anyways, because most of us are in the same circle of, of friends here that do the reviews. We, we, mm -hmm. we're a really great community of, of really good people, and we all get along really well. We shoot the shit back and forth off camera, which is amazing. Um, yeah, it's really good. So go check him out. If you don't know who he is, go check him out. He's an amazing dude. He does great reviews also as far as doing regular reviews on Transformers. You do other stuff also. Uh, uh, yeah, my channel's mainly whatever is. It's just my hobbies. You know, whatever. Uh, I You know, I Transformers is my main thing, but, you know, there's other stuff in life that interests me too, right? So Yeah, I'm really digging your, your GoBots thing here too. Uh, M has just really spoiled us on on so many levels with he, he's I mean, he's started it all <laughs> yeah he's an amazing dude too. Yeah. Right. but yeah well go check him out give him a sub if you like what he does of course i'm not going to tell you to do it if you don't like him i wouldn't but i do so do it <laughs> appreciate it man appreciate it and because we're, we're doing this as a what do you call a, a co collab so i'll be uploading the same thing as well on my channel and putting a link to Tatamis' uh, channel and some videos as well. And, you know, check his channel out. Awesome reviews. I always love your take on things. And it's, um, uh, well, I know Patriot Prime says it's, you know, he remembers it's not to, that watching a review with yours is, he has to remember if he's at work, that not, not safe for work thing. But, <laughs> you know, watch it later if, you, if you're at work or put the volume down. <laughs> yeah 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 and definitely don't do it in front of your kids and you know if they're not used to any profanity or <laughs> brutal honesty on toys <laughs> hey, <laughs> Thank hey, you, hey, but that's really what everybody it. likes that's what everybody likes about your channel it's the brutal honesty and you know at least we we know where you're coming from with it and and we have all appreciate that and but Thank yeah you, I, I just thought I'm, it was funny the other day when patriot prime <laughs> Um, type that in the chat. <laughs> so, cool. Yeah, that was funny. I got to laugh out of that myself. <laughs> nice. All right, guys. This is Tadimus Prime with Joel from Larkin's Lair. Until See you, guys. Fuck <laughs> the fuck on. <laughs>